everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie I hope you're doing well feeling good and ready to connect to your departed loved ones do you guys like our new summer gnomes they're making their debut on the channel I put up some summer vacation or summer vacation maybe I need to take a vacation summer decorations I still have the uh, 4th of July stuff up. I gotta, if I have time, take that down after the fireworks. Uh, if you're wondering, it says Seaside Surf and Sand Beach Party. Not that one. My head will probably get in the way. <laughs> uh, the circle one says Summer Sweet Summer Sunshine on my mind is the cocktail one and the ice cream says Sweet Summer. Everything could be a clue from your loved one drawing in just saying since we're debuting the gnomes today i'm going old school and we're doing a pick a pile to connect to your loved one um and since the gnomes are here i'm having you pick from three different gnomes but i'm not going to call them gnomes i have used them before i'm switching it up a little bit um so pile number one we're calling the surfer vibe to it It's got a call to your soul. What's that song? <laughs> That's an old school. <laughs> Is that Beach Boys? I don't know. Maybe it's relevant. It probably did not. It made sense in my head. I'm sorry. If it comes to me, I'll say it. <laughs> Pile two, we are calling the trailblazer. The trailblazing gnome. It's 1.22 on the clock, like the actual time here. So that could be a spiritual number. That was for pile two. <laughs> uh, pile three, we're calling the lifeguard. And you just pass two three three on the clock a little bit, so that that's crazy. That's just extra flickered, and we're getting into it. All right, so I'll do this quick one more time. Go to the description box below for the timestamp. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It really does help me grow. I really need you guys. I appreciate all of you who you, who watch this, um, who like, who comment. Uh, who share. I appreciate you all so much. Please continue to help me grow because it, it will help these messages get to more people who may need them from spirit. You know, the more it's out there, the more these messages can find the souls that they need if they're not for you. Um, so let's get into it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I do this? No. <sighs> I'm so tired. Today has been crazy. Pile one is the surfer. Pile two is the Trailblazer. <laughs> and pile three is the Lifeguard. Alrighty. Description box below for the timestamp, and I will see you at your pile. And there, pile one, you picked the Surfer. Super cute little Nomi. Alright, let's get into it. Do this backwards? I did. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to give you some descriptions of this person and their life first. There's a lot here. I don't look at them ahead of time. Just wanted to peek. Alright, so you got two feminine energy descriptions and two masculine energy so that could be four spirit spirits um, but I drew four for each pile this could be describing the same person more than one person take what resonates to you but for feminine energy we have Wednesday from the Adams family so this is like a pessimist but 
someone who's very unique, rarely understood, speaks their mind, could have been goth or emo, uh, emotional based, they could have been su suicidal or had depression, this could be unfortunately a suicide here, um, struggled to fit in, feels out of place, alien, they were just, they just stuck out like a sore thumb. The thing over there is going crazy today, either it's about to die or spirit's messing with it. Uh, Martha Stewart. So this could be someone who is organized, cool, great style, sophisticated, glamorous. Uh, they could have had tax issues, money troubles, or did time in jail. Thoughtful, Girl Scout energy. So they could have been a leader or in the Girl Scouts or just was always like prepared. Um, beautiful home or finishings, knack for decorating or wrapping gifts or uh, interior design always prepared good cook as well masculine energy we have Sunny Koufax that's Adam Sandler from Big Daddy could be in the legal field or just didn't finish um, could have been a bad father or just irresponsible um, immature or could have got their shit together later in life Oh, there's stuff on the back. Lazy could have gotten money from lawsuit, victim mentality, immature, greedy, bad friend, bad with kids, went to school but never finished, user has the potential to do and be good but chooses not to. So pros and cons, take what resonates to you for your person. Babe Ruth, athlete, good at sports. A uh, star player, could be a pro athlete, trendsetter, go-getter, lives for being healthy and doing well at their work, very driven, famous for something. I just feel like this person was a workaholic and put parenting second if this is a parent or just didn't settle down or they just like maybe have kids out here that like just fathered or mothered kids and just didn't take care of them. They could have been addicts. There's like a selfish nature, but at the same time, there's also an energy here of somebody really great who had their shit together. So I don't know if this is the same person and you're just talking about evolutions of their life or this could be um, even you. They could be describing you and how they've seen your life go. Take what resonates to you. Let's see what their personality was like. We have style. Again, fresh to death energy like always put together had nice outfits hair done man or woman it didn't matter if they were a female they like had their nails did they were on fleek with the style they were with the trend man or a woman uh, they were a rebel they didn't stick out they they might have caused problems they probably had opinions that were a little bit that went left um, <laughs> It's kind of like the flat earth, round earth energy, like, what side are you on? <laughs> uh, conspiracy theorist energy I'm getting. This person was resilient. They could have had a few health scares, or if they were an addict, they could have, like, OD'd a few times. Um, they could have attempted suicide a few times. But they're just telling me, I just feel like they just turned their shit around before they died, or they're recognizing you did. Um, let's get some details about their death that might help you place who this is. Banshee. Heed my warning, dear child, for what I hold is far from unsung lullabies. This, yeah, this person had addictions. They had demons. Their demons were what took their life. I don't know if that's like depression. Um, if like an actual evil person. Depression? Blink again for depression. Suicide. Heard it loud and clear and they're manipulating my light. As you can see, it's not doing that every time. Are you here? Click it again. Is it absorbing energy? Are you here? Flicker it. So weird. 
Maybe not. Maybe it was a fluke. That's why we seems to be doing the same pattern. I am a scientist. You get excited, but then you gotta wait. Gotta wait. But it didn't fuck. Thank you for the confirmation. <laughs> they were gaining up energy. You guys did see the flicker, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> Alright, so Wolf. I just feel like they might have been a man eater or a womanizer, um, prostitution, maybe for some of them. Nature spirits. They were homeless. At least for some time. Or you could have been, or they could have been found outside or um, hurt outside. Elements. Their body was found in the elements. Some of you, this is a, a attic um, that was like had, if they were homeless, like your person was found in the elements because that's where they lived or something happened to them. We'll get more. Um, I drew just some cards with art and numbers. This is the energy they're giving off. Ooh, do you see that face? It kind of has a cat and an eagle face. That's interesting in my Egyptian mythology. For one way you look at it, it looks like an eagle nose. One way you look at it, it looks like a cat. So you could have um, Egyptian lineage or you guys shared that or let's talk about Anubis this person could have been there's a cross upside down to me this was somebody in the occult but both good and bad like there was points in their life that's probably why they had a demon or they could have worked in demonology too. But I do feel strong spiritual gifts, strong connection. But I, 33, um, there's something about um, still being here, like earthbound. Like a slumber, like a purgatory. Hmm, we'll get more. But I don't feel like this is, like, issued by God. I feel like this person, either in a point of them being a spirit, had to, like, forgive themselves for their demons and addictions before they crossed. Because that could be what this is. They're very connected to you. There's, like, a cross here. Stay away from evil occult. I just feel like they got sucked into it. They're warning you against it. It ruined their life. Um, a lot of blue healing, but sadness, deep sadness, but also, I don't think, you got 33, 34. So this is a soul progression. They were trapped, they were stuck, they were tormented, and now their soul is, I wouldn't say they're, I think they're still earthbound, but they're lighter. They have forgiven themselves, and they still um, feel the need to repent about things. Death is a very personal process. You cross when you're ready. Um, so here's some details about either you or your person. You lived in a city-like setting. So this person could be from a city. You could be from a city. Um, this person didn't like committing because they were they had fear of rejection. So they were non-committal. They wanted to be the one that left first. This person could have been an orphan. You died as a young adult but lived. Again, acknowledgement that there was death in this person's life and then they came back. Or perhaps you died. That was acknowledgement that this person helped you come back. You could be soft-spoken or this person was or just had a quiet voice, or just didn't, they spoke when they felt they had something to say and were mostly quiet. Tomorrow is another day. You're expecting too much of yourself. 
You're putting too much on your plate. Take it easy. Rome was not built in one day. You can't do everything yourself. Ease off the throttle a bit. Go with the flow and do what you can. Don't fret about the rest. This person had a very stressful job or just made their life about work or their life about partying. It's like the, it was extreme one way or the other here. Either your person was an addict and that's what killed them or they were a workaholic um, or didn't quit in their sport when they were supposed to and like their heart gave out, like their body gave out because they didn't know when to quit. There's an the energy of don't be like me. <laughs> Again, with the blinking. You saved many lives, or they did, so they could be like an EMT, a doctor. Uh, maybe you're like a PTSD uh, psychologist. Maybe you deal with something in suicide. Um, so here's some, like, shows or movies that was a little bit about how their life was to give me some details about who this might be be for you. Um, making the band, so they could have been somebody who was like an agent, a talent scout, they could have been in a band, a musician, that could have been their side gig, maybe they were always trying to be famous, maybe that's how they got their money, just playing in bars and stuff, that could have been how they got their addictions or how they got scouted, um, or they were always trying out for things, or they're the stress of like weighing in for a fight or weighing in for a match or making a body type or um i just feel like cutting weight is relevant here it's like always trying to make the cut on something always trying to be ahead of the curve always trying to be the one on top chasing that hustle all the time the hurt locker this person could have been in the oh stop loss this person could have been in the military, could have had PTSD, or this is referencing they could have dealt, like that's what their job was, a psychologist, or they helped people, um, or they were with it too. Like they, Maybe that's why they unfortunately committed suicide, or maybe that's what you do in honor of them. You could work with them, but there's a lot of military energy here. Book club. Uh, life crazy crisis and change so I do feel like this person did turn their life around I feel like they were a hot mess um, new lover coming in book lovers first time having sex in a long time widowed newly single or divorced I feel like there this might be a talking to you if you're going through some love woes here you could have a new lover coming in um, or maybe just share the love of books this is a strong friend group, so this could be someone you were friends with. Um, <clears throat> meeting your people for the first time, so this person could have been adopted and met their family later in life. My throat chakra is so blocked right now. I'm going to pause it. <laughs> Go get my drink. I always forget. <laughs> about that <laughs> all right sometimes being the bigger person means walking away for the sake of peace instead of being right or getting justification sometimes it's right for us to just cut our losses and pick up our life if you're the better person karma will give you back only what is good sometimes you just gotta say fuck it this is toxic like i just i can't do it anymore i just don't want to fight anymore i'm gonna walk away sure uh-huh yep let them believe what they need to believe and just go about your life it's not worth your sanity this person could have been in a secret society or like had like a secret book club or a secret friends group I appreciate what you did for me. So they're acknowledging something you did after their death or in honor of them, whether that is a speech, a memorial, something you put up in their house, talking about them. Um, maybe you acknowledge them in your own recovery or you just talk about them as a... Um, an inspiration to how someone can turn their life around or something like that. You are a wonderful parent. They're acknowledging you are a far better parent than this person was. I feel like this person was a, they're saying they're like a shitty parent. They did you no know, justice. Either they were abusive and real shitty because of their addictions or they just were just cold, didn't care. Oh, hiccups, neglectful. There's things you need to move on from. I think you choose people who are like your mother. 
or your father, depending on what gender you're after. And it's associated to people with addictions. Like you're always drawn to people you can fix. You got to move on from that. People got to fix themselves. Take care of your health and prepare for your future. That's what you're doing. I, th I feel like there's an acknowledgement here. If you're an addict, you really, or you need to do this, um, really have cut out everybody who will take you back to that dark place or they're acknowledging that you're putting a step forward like if I want my life to be better I don't want to wind up that way if they never got their life together this is acknowledging of them saying look you're headed down a, a dark road or you're around people that could take you back down there or to my level or expose you to shit like if your gut tells you to get on move on the spirit is saying do so you're, take a chill pill. You're working too much. You're very. You're worrying about the. You're nitpicking everything. So, all this energy is going into stress, and it's not going into problem solving or, like, loving your life. So it just. This energy, yeah. You're trying. You tried, your best. You're trying. You're doing your best. You're doing everything correctly like everything's clicking into place like just relax but this person is saying they tried their best with the resources they had um maybe they were raised by a shitty person too or they just didn't have the the willpower or the courage to get over their addictions you never ever made me stop loving and appreciating the person that you are Everyone has flaws and everyone makes mistakes. Don't worry about any bad blood this person or any fights or anything that happened between you guys. There's like, this person loves you. There's, <laughs> they worship the ground you walk on. You are adorable. They, they protect you. I want you to love going to your job. For so long you did what needed doing. You're drained. Life gets mundane for you. You gave up your dreams. I want you to dream again. I want you to risk it for yourself. Get out of this 9 to 5 crap. They're saying you hate it so much. True story. Me too. <laughs> Moving so fast like you are only causes three things. Moodiness and exhaustion. Mistakes and miscommunication. Insecurities and unsolid foundations. There's no need to rush. Hit the brakes. You're going too fast. Yeah, you're being reckless. You're being a daredevil. You're not thinking long term. You're not taking care of your body like a machine. You're not making wise choices. You're just making spontaneous for the moment, which might be good for right the second, but it's going to be horrible for two, three, four days down the road. Don't let anyone belittle you. Stand up for yourself. Afterglow. So maybe you're coming out of a hard time. You could have just had a baby. Um, face the music. Oh, so maybe this is like the simmering of facing something difficult, coming over the mountain almost to the top, or it's time to face up to your addictions, or time to step up and be a leader. Face the music. You're a leader. Step up. This person could have been a CEO, CFO as well. Good with money. Here's some advice from you from your person. Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. Everyone can transform their life. If you want a better life, you have to go out there and get it. No one's going to do it for you. I know you feel anxious, but you forget the part where you totally got this. Exactly. Everything is clicking into place. All you got to do is keep putting motion into it. Keep trying every day. Failure is God's rejection. Rejection is God's... Er, <laughs> it's not that fucked up. Rejection is God's protection. Failure is also God's protection. It's not meant for you. Go out and plant new life seeds. So for your future. Get out of the job you hate. I don't care who's telling you it's crazy. If you are a CEO of a company and you want to be a professional fucking surfer and give up the desk go do it enjoy your life enjoy what you do that's what life is about 
We have fun and you two must enjoy yourself. Exactly. Take some vacation time. Summer is here. They're saying sit on the beach, soak in the sun, take in, <sighs> relax, tune into the rhythm of nature. Let us connect there. Get outside. You just feel so much better when you're sitting on the beach, when you're sitting on a park bench, when you're not in your office or you're not at home or you're not with people who are toxic and you're just looking out at this beautiful view or you're listening to the birds and the sounds of nature, it's calming and it's meditative and it's going to help you make decisions. What do you need to let go of at this time? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So move forward with the good. Move on from those energy vampires. Pay attention to how you feel. You need to ask your angels for guidance on who needs to go and who needs to stay and where you go from here. They will help give you signs, but you need to be open and receptive to those signs. You can't be closed off and, you know, there's signs in everything. Numbers on the clock. Look up what they mean. Songs that replay. Listen to the lyrics. Look up the lyrics. Um, smells out of nowhere. What does smelling roses out of nowhere mean? Like, look it up. Research. Investigate. If you think it's a clue, it probably is. Um, you could be getting a lot of creative inspiration. Or this person is helping to give some advice on how you could release an... Uh, clear your mind by doing like art projects, painting, music, or they're acknowledging maybe perhaps you have creatively profited, profited off of what this person, the pain they caused in your life. You released it in a creative way and they're proud of you. Um, partnerships and love. So they're either acknowledging that's coming in, like you're finally going to have a good partnership here, or they're acknowledging you have family and real love and they're happy. Um, they wish they could have given you that or if they did and they broke it because of addictions like they're saying please don't think of me as just the addict remember us when we were a family and I was healthy because that's where they think most they don't like to I mean who would want to dwell on the worst parts see we have yin yang man holding a heart and journey so this is about getting balanced you need to come and center and figure out what you want to do, what you want your life to look like, what you want your relationships and friendships to be, and then you make decisions. And you have to balance yourself to see the truth of people, to see the truth of what you like or don't like. You have to be listening to the sounds of the world around you and your own intuition. Everything, every decision you're going to pick the right one, but it comes from knowing your good parts and the bad parts. What do you do well in and what kind of sets you back? What's stressful to you? You want to avoid avoid triggers. You want to avoid things that set you backwards. But this could also, with 22, could be talking about maybe there's a love interest coming in or they're acknowledging that you have a really strong partnership and they admire it. Man holding a heart to me is about getting in tune with your feelings and learning to master them like the king of cups energy. Someone could be coming in with a love offer or you could be preparing yourself as the masculine to come either obtain another half, go after other half, or this person came into your life and healed your heart and you you are content and, and in love and they they love that for you and they're happy. But you have a new start coming. You're going on a new journey. Could be a new job. Maybe you're moving a new relationship, new friendships. Maybe you're moving on from being a, an addict into sobriety. Um, perhaps you relapse and you're going back into sobriety and doing well there. Um, but you need you need to put the energy into moving away from things that no longer belong, no longer are good for you or to you and don't belong in your future. So let's close out your reading it with some tarot. We have six of air, relief, hope, moving on. You're going to be so relieved when you move on from these toxic friends, lovers, people. Like 
you're you're gonna see the energy and feel it and how like just having them out of your space out of your home it's just like oh, thank god like freedom <laughs> Um, eight of earth, education, focus, details. With that person out of your energy, you're going to have so much time to focus on you and your craft. And this is where the spirit wants you to go because this is how you find yourself and what's best for you. Two of water, you have a partnership coming in. Either this is signing a contract with a new job or this is getting married or the one coming in your life or just finding your destiny but you have good stuff coming the spirit wants you to release the stuff that you know needs to go and is toxic for you that's the one thing holding you up you have to let go of your comfort zone i hope this was helpful if it was if it resonated if you want more pick a piles like this please hit the like button below if you like my energy please subscribe i would love to have you here to all my subscribers i love you so much i appreciate you thanks for accepting this looney tune and please know you can always be a looney 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 tune with me and i will never judge you Fuck up, people! <laughs> See you next time. Toodles! There, pile two, you picked the trailblazer. Super cute. Check you later, trailblazer. Alright, let's talk about your person. What were they like? What was their personality like? I would drew four cards, two feminine energies, two masculines. This could be four people. This could be the same person. This could be two people. Take what resonates to you. So feminine energies, we have Rihanna. They could have could have had piercing eyes, um, family tied, uh, or this is a family member. Doesn't like um, commercialized clothing. Maybe they make their own, or they have their own clothing line, or we're in the fashion world survivor of abuse or an assault they could have had their own business or empire um, or just did well in their career they could have an accent or f been from the caribbean islands or an island in general <laughs> annie rags to riches uh, they could have been a manager or scouted for their talent um Sweetheart could have been an orphan or had no family, like friends became their family. Um, or they just were the black sheep. Uh, they could have been a life coach, optimistic, hopeful, inspiring, humble. Could have had a really rough childhood or been in psychology. So masculine energy, we have Mr. Miyagi from The Karate Kid. <laughs> Very wise, skilled fighter, teaches life lessons. There's that life coach again. Youth counselor or a counselor in general, motivator, fights bullies, stands up to the underdog, speaks multiple language, could be older, could have died older, just a, a protector, a teacher, a mentor. The godfather, so this could be like your father, grandfather, someone older took care of you, could be a leader of a gang or organized crime or have a checkered past. Or just head of the family, people respected or maybe even feared them. Um, have strong family roots or heritage. Could have lived in a big city or been Italian. Doesn't have to be. Let's talk about how their life was. These are like TV shows, movies that are um, going to help me figure out what their life was like. So the old show, Roseanne, not the new one, the Connors. So they could have been like a middle, middle class family, uh, grew up, but, you know, had everything you need. Loving family, like you could talk to each other close. Um, 155 on the clock. Wow, synchronicity is like my clock, not this clock. Um, strong love partnership too like maybe their parents were high school sweethearts or um this could have been your spouse or like your grandparents roswell they could have been into into aliens or like been a scientist maybe even worked for area 51 or nasa or something like that chicago fire they could have been a fire person or a volunteer fireman um investigator i heard fire investigator or uh they could have lived through a fire let's see what their personality was like 
confidence, they have that swagger, that confidence. Like, I look good, I feel good, I can get this, I can do this. Wow, confidence. <laughs> yeah, they were strong. They had a strong personality. Not everybody jived with them. They said what they, what they felt. They didn't like wine asses. They didn't like complaining. I kind of get like Red Foreman. Like, I will put my boot right in your ass. Vibes, and I, I'm not hating it to be honest. This person was mysterious because they didn't talk a lot, like, they didn't tell people their business, they didn't like gossip, they didn't do a bunch of bullshit. So, everyone was like, What's up with this person? Let's talk about uh, some details on perhaps how they died. We have seduction, third harvest, apples, healer, and coming of winter. So the, some of your spirits here knew they were going to die. This is a disease. Like they knew it was coming. They were they were probably trying with chemo or something. But at the end of the day, they could have been taken out by old age or like a ailment, a sickness, maybe even COVID. Apples, to taste one must swallow it whole and beneath they could have been a little bit of a con artist or just that mystery of like you know how people just like if you ever looked at someone and they're like they look like a pedophile but they're really like the sweetest person and they wouldn't be I kind of feel that energy like they looked like an asshole or they look grumpy all the time but they weren't if that makes sense I don't know where I just got that but I feel like maybe they were poisoned or um, overdosed or medication or something um, like a cancer, poison apple. Third harvest, they could have like had cancer, went into remission and got cancer again. Or this is somebody who died uh, in their later years. Or could have had three children or perhaps died in childbirth unfortunately or in your womb seduction they could have like gotten AIDS some of them died from AIDS um, like got sexually transmitted stuff that it would have probably been in the time that they didn't know much about it Some of them with the, I don't like this, but I'm going to put it out. Some of them got poisoned by, like, somebody who is after their, like, married them for money or something. Or was in the will, like, a family member, like, slowly poisoned them so it would look like sickness. I would look into that. Let's see. I drew art to tell me their energies. There's a lot of anger here. There's a lot of like regal. I'm seeing a little bit of an alien face up here. I feel like this person was otherworldly. Star Seed knew a lot about the occult. Kind of seeing like a little devil. I don't know why I heard Freemason. Like secret society. So much anger. But so much love, too. So much passion. This person was ruled by their passion. They're very strong. <laughs> I wonder why this anger is here. Is this your anger or theirs? Let's get some details about your person. This could be about you, could be about them. We have Native American. So they could be Native American or they just like the culture or you are. Tall, slim, filled. Needy. Scam artist, pickpocket. Died in a crash or explosion. That could have been an explosion and not anger.
You were a parent and you were a natural and loved your children and always remained close with them. Yeah, there's that Roseanne energy. This was a good parent, a good grandparent. Ninja advanced fighting skills. They were either super spiritual. They could have dealt in the occult. They could have been like a priest. Very spiritual. Very, um, Or they could have literally been like a Chuck Norris. <laughs> um, you were religious or could have been in an occult. So they could have been like a Scientologist. But for most of you, I just feel like they were super spiritual and religious. Whatever they believed in. You wrote stories or books or textbooks. So they're acknowledging either you were the writer or they are. Or maybe you're both both writers. Maybe you got it from them. Ask yourself why there is more to the story. So there's something that is eating you alive that I feel like you're mulling over. I'm sure they're going to get into it. Running from the problem and feelings. So you're running from something and you're asking yourself why aren't you ready to or you should be asking yourself, why are you running and not facing it? This is like a David and Goliath, they're saying. Oh my God, what does this mean? Am I making the right choice? Why didn't I see this sooner? What do I do? You got thrown a curveball. You've been either just mentally thinking about it and like what they would do and what they would say or you've been praying for help. This person could have been in the medical field or you are. If they don't meet you halfway, it's not worth the, di the discussion. That could be a job offer. If they're not going to pay you what you deserve, don't even take the job. If this is a lover who isn't going to put what you're going to put into the relationship, they're not worth your time. Same with friendship, churches, whatever relationship you're getting into. Sometimes we mess up. Get back up. It's not the end of the world. You're making it bigger than it is, boo-boo, I'm hearing. Don't kill the messenger. <sighs> Trailblazer, and you have create your own trail. I don't look at these ahead of time. Yeah, they they were a trailblazer. They did something first, or they had their own business, or they were the first in your line to do something, and you're, like, trying to match. It's like you're trying to add to the legacy or build your own legacy. They're like, keep doing it. I'm proud of you. Or it's time. You need to initiate that. Take time to give back to those in need. Maybe you're doing well or just help the family around you. It's time to give back and be thankful. That's always good to put that out in the universe, they're saying. It's okay to walk away if it's not good for you. Whether that's a friendship, a lover, a church, <laughs> what have you. The person you love loves you back too, my love. You have talked yourself down. You think it's all in your head. No, no, dear. This is destiny. If you tell them how you feel, you're going to like the response you get. Be brave, sweetheart, and go for it. So you have a crush on someone and you're not making your move. They're calling you out. You could have had eating disorders or have them or this person does. If you do, um, they always want you to be working on this and get help for it. Um, if they did, they're just acknowledging that it's them. They could have been a psychic. You're a psychic as well if, if you're in the same family line. Yeah, you need a study buddy. You want to be a powerful psychic like them. You need someone to teach you. You need to learn about this. They want you to dig into your spiritual side because you're quite powerful yourself. Guess what? Chicken clucks. Just kidding. Just wanted to say hi and I miss you lots. There's they just pop in for a lot just to come in and, and check on you. You might feel them around like for a day or two and then it's gone and like a few months go by and you feel them around again. They're just popping in. They're checking on you. <laughs> Avoiding taking action or realizing issues. They're calling you out for being a procrastinator. This person could be could have been bald or you were bald. Just acknowledging, giving you more clues. I know you feel lost right now. I know you don't know what to do, and you're trying to do what is best for everyone. But honey, like always, you forget that you have needs too. And you have faced many decisions in your life, and it all worked out before. It's time to be selfish. It's time for you to think about yourself and put yourself first. And you have to do that in life. It doesn't make you a selfish person. It's time, boo-boo. This is you time. It's go time. 
You need a time out. You're so stressed and exhausted. You're overworked and it's affecting your health and your relationships and your happiness. Put yourself first and focus on trying taking much needed healing time off you need a vacation this could be your mom it's time to work on your spirituality and becoming more in tune with your higher self tap into that psychic energy so they can communicate with you people will always judge and talk that's not your business let them talk let them judge you just go find your happiness in life you don't have anything to prove to anyone but yourself you don't have to explain anything to anyone but yourself and God pregnant new baby so you're gonna have new children or they're acknowledging you're pregnant right now or uh, you've had a baby since they passed you can't look to others to motivate or validate you be your own cheerleader you're all you will ever need everything you need to achieve you already have believe in yourself some advice from you from your spirit mural be your own first priority make that vision board figure out what you want to do how you can afford like we can't cling to the 3d so it's like but at the same time if you have kids and shit you can't just be like out here quitting your job and having no money to feed them so you have to have a little bit of practicality but figure out how you can spend more time doing your passion and if you got to do it in slow steps that's fine just make sure every day you're putting energy into your passion and not just mundane shit you feel like you have to do depression lies there is no circumstance that is unchangeable there is no situation that is ever hopeless. Everybody can rise like a phoenix, even out of the worst pits of hell. Even the most sickest, evilest person can turn it around before they die and become of light and be forgiven and accepted into heaven. Your story ain't over yet, so you still have time to change it. Let's get some messages from your person to you. Stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. Stand up for the life and the roots you want to build. You don't have to go along with someone else's show. And you don't have to go along with someone else's opinions and wants and needs. You have wants and needs and dreams of your own. Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Put yourself out there if it's for work and like you just need to leave a toxic job. If it's about relationship, get out of there and something good will be replaced. Maybe not right away, but you have to do your healing work anyway. It's going to be better for you in the end. Explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. Yes, let go of what no longer serves you, good, is good for you or makes you feel good. What do you need to release right now? They're saying, surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in... I'm sorry, <coughs> my throat chakra. Allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. You need to ask for help. Reach out to family members. It's time to, to really yeah, trust that spirit will back you up if you walk away from evil things. If you walk away from things that doesn't serve you, they are going to have you your back. Like, yes, you have to have the practicality. Make sure you're making the right steps for your life. But they're gonna. If you walk away from a lover, they're gonna bring you a lover that's good for you. If you walk away from a job, they're gonna bring you a lover that. <laughs> they keep bringing me to lovers. And I'm just getting super tired. I feel like you have an energy vampire. Like you can, or you just are so obsessed with someone that it's like affecting everything. You've got to let it go. Do some cord cutting and trust in divine timing. Solitude and deprivation. Either a job has left you high and dry, left you out in the cold, or a person has, or your family has. It's like you got to walk away from all those that leave you in lack, that didn't see your worth, that didn't appreciate you. They're, they're just hindering your life and your energy. 
you're at a crossroads. You need to decide. Make that vision board. Where? What am I doing for career? What am I doing for love? Once you get all those answers, then you're, you'll know which direction to go in. It's one, one decision at a time. You don't have to make all the, the decisions in one day. You have hostilities around. You have people that are, don't want to see you do well. You have people who are nasty. That energy vampire making you feel like shit about yourself. Um, you got to cut them out. Cut out those hostilities. Anyone that harshes your mellow, you got to rip them out like a cancer, the spirit says, so that your abundance can come in. This is what is stopping your... I am like so drained. So this person is like feeding off of you like a leech. They're stopping your success. Cut those cords, boo-boos. Let's close it out with some tarot from your person. Six of water, memories, childhood, nostalgia. This could be someone who knew you as a child and they love thinking about the time you spent with them as a child or this is someone you knew as a child or they died as a child. Um, but think about your youth and the good times and all the times you had with this person and embrace your inner child that will help you create. King of Earth, prosperous, generous, successful. There's that giving back. If, you, if you've been doing well, if your abundance has come in, it's time to help people who are good, um, who, are, were, who are in your spot, perhaps, where you were once. The moon, intuition, illusion. Yeah, there's some truths you still need to learn either about yourself your spirituality or about this like hostile situation but they will be revealed to you 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 can't make a decision until you know all of the answers so right now is about finding the answers for yourself who's going who's staying what do i love to do what I, what do i don't love to do what do i want to put my energy in what do i don't want to put my energy in it's sitting with yourself doing that vision board that's where you should be Figuring out what your plan is and being selfish in that as in just picturing your own happiness and seeing how everything else plays into your life. That's going to help you see what needs to go as well for your better good um, and the betterment of everyone you love as well because they, they always do better when you're the happiest that you can be. You know, your vibes are happy. Your family's vibes are happy. Your kids are happier. Everyone around you is happier. So I hope this message was helpful and it gave you the information you needed at this time. If you like these, if you want more, if it resonated, please hit the thumbs up below. It really does help me grow my channel and help get these messages out to people who may need them. If this wasn't your vibe, it might be someone's vibe out there and every like will get it closer to them. So please help me and please help Spirit. I would appreciate it. If you like my vibes, please subscribe to all my subscribers. Da, 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 da. You are awesome. I freaking love you, awesome sauces. But what do I do without you? I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Love and light. Toodaloo, boo boo's boy. There, pile three. You picked the lifeguard. Little savior buddy. Alright. Let's get into some details about your person so you can see if this person is your. Or if this pile is for you. Let me get my shirt together. Sorry about that. Alright. So I pulled four energies, two feminine, two masculine energies. This could be four spirits, the same person, two spirits. Take what resonates to you. We have Lisa Simpson. They could have played an instrument, been weird or eccentric, or had no friends like an introvert. Um, moral dilemmas or complexes all the time. They could have been a good student, a quick learner, just a studious nature. Dependable, predictable, sibling rivalry. So this could be a sibling of yours or the good one in the family or the good one in your friends group. Teacher's pet, nerdy, scientist, homebody. This could be a student of yours if you were a teacher or are a teacher and lost a student, unfortunately. We have Michelle Obama, active, fit, food and nutrition buff, um, informative, politically correct. Spouse, spouse's career could have come first over theirs. Matriarch of the family. A lot of wisdom about a lot of things. Noah from the notebook. A deep lover. Follows their heart and gut. 
one lover at a time, very loyal, or longs for a lover. I just feel like they, they were with one person their whole life, or they just were a very loyal person. Um, writer or love to write love letters. Could have been in construction or worked in lumber. Uh, a good, trustworthy person. The boy next door, sweet, good-hearted. Could be like someone's grandpa here, or gra grandma and grandpa. I'm getting those vibes. Rocky, fighter, boxer, strong, trained, worked hard for all they have. Faced great adversity, overcame and respected their community. I heard great depression, so they could have lived through that. Um, very focused on their looks. They could have been slightly vain, but they just, it was more about self-care. Um, they were brave, slightly cocky. Um, I feel like they were in the military. I'm getting like old, old military though, like World War II. Just likes to impress and, and have a good, a good overall presence with the within the community and when they walk in a room I feel like they had a presence. They could have been Italian from New York City or just a big city in general um, or had a city accent. Hey, you Adrian! <laughs> could have came from the ghetto a bit. Oh my god, you got Fight Club. So these are movies or shows that tell me about their life. Um, it could have been best friends or a close friendship. They could have had bipolar or like a split personality um they they were ballsy i just feel like they were the tyler version of fight club oh my god meet joe black isn't that two brad pitt movies that's weird they could be like blonde hair blue eyes um or maybe they just were a brad pitt fan could be relevant um they could have been a medium death near death experience Mysterious person, uh, fell in love, or falling in love and meeting the one. They could have been like, think about the movie. She was in a wealthy family, and comes meet Joe Black, and like they had a crazy setup. Maybe they met, like met this per this person could have met their spouse through work, or like could have married the boss's daughter or the boss's son or you could have married the secretary I don't know something like that or they were just a medium reunion family reunion they could have been somebody organized in doing that um, yeah meet someone through the family ghost I feel like they were a, a medium or uh, this could be your spouse hmm, I'm sorry or they're acknowledging they're with their spouse. So let's talk about their personality. <laughs> what was their personality like? Let's see, we got defensive. There's that fighter energy. So maybe they really were. I don't look at these guys. The synchronicity is great. <laughs> um, just strong, tough, military background, mood. Yeah, people were scared of them. There was an essence when they came in the room. They were scared to disappoint this person. They were scared to upset them. Um, I feel like everybody wanted their favor. They wanted them to be friends with them. They wanted to be liked by this person. They were very strong. They they wouldn't, they would come running at danger to help you and not run away. They definitely have like cop or military or firefighter vibes or something. I mean, you did have the lifeguard. <laughs> Let's talk about some details about their death. It'll help um, see if this is for you. We have All Hallows Eve and Cauldron. So they could have died around Halloween. Or this person could have been the, in the occult. Or they're just referencing um, spell work could have been done. Uh, greet the Darkness Altar. Or this person was a witch. Or like a paranormal investigator like they could have been like a cop by day but they also had the they also believed in spirituality or if it's not like a witch they were just like went to church every week they were very devout um it's like talking about their funeral like they had something very specific a specific list of instructions when they died i feel like Maybe that's acknowledgement. Thank you for doing that. Or you just made their funeral grandiose and they appreciated it. 
Um, Cauldron can talk about tradition. I really feel like this person was in charge of like Thanksgiving, like family reunions. Um, they could have died from something hereditary. Um, they could have died the night before something, like someone's wedding or a holiday or someone's graduation, like a, a big moment was supposed to happen and they're, they're regretful that it, it would, of course it would tarnish the next day because you're all sad. I think there's a little bit of regret that probably won't be true for everyone or they died before they wanted to. They could have died in their sleep or died late at night. Um, they could have been found, but you found out they died late at night. So I drew some art to talk about their energies right now. They're very much in between worlds. They're very connected. Like if you have siblings from, like, to me this is saying like I can be in multiple places at once. So if you have like siblings, family all over, like this person was all about keeping connected. And they're referencing there's a divide in that connection. Um, there's a sever in what they work so hard to maintain um, I don't know if nobody's doing the family reunions or if the family just stopped gathering for holidays and you know that was true for my family the matriarch my grandma was the last to go and like we don't gather like I don't talk to my family when she went everybody just kind of scattered and I feel like that's what's happening to you and it's like all this this person is seeing all of the people that they tried to keep together branch out and they're realizing that each of those people are creating their own branches and then each of those branches they're going to have their traditions maybe they go to church every Sunday maybe they have an annual a memorial day party maybe they have an annual Christmas party and although they're not connecting as one anymore they're connecting in their own communities and everybody, no matter where they are, always remember the time that this person organized and that you were all together. That's all, that person did something special. I feel like God's coming through to acknowledge, like, that's the, they're not only the matriarch, but, like, all the traditions. Like, no matter if you're not with those people, like, on Christmas, you're automatically going to think about those reunions or those parties that memory is something you're all going to have and it still keeps you guys connected and that makes them happy. They understand that people, they're sad, they feel like you could try harder, but it's not all on you, it's all on everybody and I just feel like they're saying the world's a very different place, like people don't make a point to have like Sunday dinners anymore or like summer cookouts like I don't give a shit when I get married like whoever my inner circle is like we're having cookouts we're gonna like have Sunday family dinner because life is too short and like we don't stay connected anymore like, I don't give a shit Halloween parties birthday parties like in my home like I don't need to go make reservations like oh my god <laughs> they jiggle when I don't flex. I'm getting there. I got serious arm fat when I was eating my feelings. There's, I still have pockets of fat I gotta lose, guys. So, it's never where you want it either. Like, right here. Your armpit. Your fucking belly roll. Thighs. <laughs> anyway. Maybe you're having body issues, too. Everything's relevant comes out if it's meant to. Lavender, surround yourself with love. Like, connect in your own way. Connect with the people who you can't, like, okay, so you can't get everybody at the reunions together, but maybe your, your cousins or your siblings stayed close. Like, stay connected with as many as you can. Don't ever lose that. All right, let's get some details about this person's life. It could be about you or them. Professional, important job, upper class, dressed or lived well. Yeah, they definitely had a stature. You were a good storyteller or entertainer, or they were. 
You were wise beyond your years, or they were. <laughs> I feel like they were. This is my past life deck, so that's why I say you. <laughs> Speaker, theater, actor. So yeah, they were definitely in the theater world, or they're referencing you are. Usually on time, they like to be punctual, because they were a boss. They like to set an example. They were well-educated. They definitely had a collegiate background. <laughs> you were a scholar and spent your life learning. They could have been a professor. Big softy, big heart. They, they were um, big with charity and planning charity events. I'm getting like a power couple here. Like a grandma, grandpa, mom, dad. Like, dad was like the business mongrel. Mom was like the socialite that kept everybody, like the friends. Like, they were had the best parties. And, like, everybody came to their house for card night, like, game night. Hunter, good tracker, out, outdoor knowledge. The husband here liked to hunt and go out with the guys. They had, like, guys hunting trips with their friends. If all of them are deceased, they are acknowledging that they're together approval seeker um the socialite the fem the feminine energy like the grandma energy i'm feeling i don't feel like she had to please other people but when it came to like throwing parties she wanted to make sure that everybody had enough food and that everybody liked the decorations and that people talked about it they wanted to be front page news for their their events you're <laughs> I swear to fucking God, I didn't look at these guys. <laughs> you were in the news in your life, or they were. Ooh, maybe not for good reasons. Criminal, spy, um, or they could have been murdered here. Maybe this was like a, I'm getting like a, Nicole vibes. Nicole Simpson something like that I'm not it doesn't have to be here but like a Hollywood murder or something choose peace in your life don't be hateful especially about anything that happened in this person's life you will rise up above whatever adversity you are going through just don't drop to their level I'm hearing unite not divide keep that family together love letter so they are acknowledging maybe you wrote them a love letter when they died or you, you have their love letters or you write love letters like they do um i'm seeing someone like with a maybe you should put all their love letters and make a book out of it yeah your inner light you're a light worker something about a magazine did you put did you put their love letter in the magazine like reminisce or something like that that would like tell war stories there's acknowledgement here or maybe you should like write a book put the letters in a book grief counseling therapy so either you need that in your life if you're struggling with this person's death or if you've had a few deaths or this is what you do or they did for a profession trust your gut they're saying you'll know what to do you got that you got that intuition I don't know why I feel the need to say that. <laughs> Pain is just a lesson, so we don't forget the stakes of our choices. So pain is just to teach us not to go down that road again. Like when we learn, oh, it's hot. We don't, we don't reach out and touch it again, do we? No, unless you like pain. <laughs> Stop adding fuel to the fire. Don't stoop to their level if they yell at you. They want a reaction. They want to make things worse for you, so just don't, whatever you can do to not give them that would be great, they're saying. You're overreacting, overthinking, and making it bigger than it is because you're drained, you're exhausted, you need to get rest and refuel your machine so that you are thinking clearly and this person can't manipulate your emotions. Lighten the mood and let loose. Hang out with people who are good for you and good to you and have some fun. Think it over first. Don't make any fast decisions right now. Thank you for my birthdays. So you do something every year in honor of them on their birthday or yours. Look at you. That promotion or level up is coming soon. Way to go. You're earning your stripes. They're very proud of you. You're nailing it at work. You see signs all the time, whether that's signs, music, um, maybe you smell them. You you know when this person's around. This is acknowledgement. Yes, that's me. 
They are a member of your fan club. They adore you. They love everything you do. You're a genius in their eyes. Something about cupcakes, or they just think you're very sweet. Uh, hey there, cupcake. Maybe that was like a, nip, a nickname. <laughs> they said something. You have a choice to make. It's time. Yeah, you're at a crossroads, and you've just been kind of hovering. I think at the end of the day, you know what you need to do. You just don't want to put the energy to it. You grew up, so I think you were either, yeah, you could have been a boy or a teen when this person died, or this person um, is acknowledging they were a boy or a teen when they died. Or you've, you died, or not you, they died when you were a boy and now you're a teenager, could be that. It's going to be okay. You will end up on top. All the drama will fall away and peace will come to your life again. Hold on just a little bit longer. A conclusion is right on the horizon. Oh, this is so cute. So, side note, there's two messages here. This is a grandma coming in for a grandson who's being bullied because they're a little bit eccentric. They're a little bit different. The, the, she's saying, you're going to be okay. Everything's going to turn in your favor. Something's going to happen. Like, People are going to see this bully for who they are. People really don't appreciate bullies. They, and there's going to be someone that's going to, like, see your worth and be a true friend. You don't have to accept people who are mean to you just just because you want a friend. This grandma's like, no, they're mean to you. You don't be their friend. There's other friends. And tell your teachers if they don't leave you alone. Like, you don't... Like, don't be afraid. Like, if you've tried everything and this person is just making your life miserable, you do not deserve to live that way and you don't have to. People in your class will support you. Make friends with a jock. They'll help you. Reach, <laughs> reach out to others. Make friends with better people. Don't listen to the rumors. And talk of the from the haters. You know who you are, and the people who love you know the truth. There's like a lot of drama. <laughs> I feel like they're talking to their kid and their grandchild, <laughs> or great grandchild and their grandchild, something like that. It's like there's there's a gossip going around in someone's school, and there's like gossip going around in the office. Like haters are gonna hate. If you have haters, you're doing something right. Point blank. Period. Time to say goodbye to a karmic lover. They are not sugarcoating a thing today. LGBTQ, so they could be acknowledging um, they were in it or you're in it. I feel like this is an acceptance. Like maybe you, you thought they were old school or they wouldn't approve. They approve. On the back of this card is anger issues. So a lot of the stuff going on in the world, if you are into that, I think they're acknowledging to just separate yourself and don't add to the fuel like don't get yourself involved in things that are gonna like mess up your life get you arrested mess up your college career or anything like that <laughs> yes that's me that song you keep hearing over and over again I am talking to you so they're acknowledging that song is from them there is no need to be sorry for anything or to feel shame Please let it go. There's nothing you could have done to fix the situation. Someone died from old age here. Try to see the good things. You have yet to come instead of thinking of all that has gone wrong. The glass is half full, not half empty. Breathe in, breathe out. Calm and breathe through your anxiety. Yes, maybe it's time to get some help with that anxiety if you can't manage it on your own. We have robbery and Juneteenth. So something could have went down on the Juneteenth or maybe you participate in Juneteenth. Um, something in honor of them or, you, or they were just acknowledging of something recent so that you know that they're here. Um, you lost something, don't worry. Spirit's going to return it phone ringing you could be getting communication about a robbery maybe you're getting property back breaking and entering um, this could be warning if you haven't been robbed to double up your security to have you know to be alert at night there could be a warning here uh, this could be your sister hazel eyes and then we have obese 
So this could have been someone who was just a little bit thicker. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's get some more advice from you or for you from your person. Your struggle is not an indication of failure. You are not a failure because you are struggling. You are struggling because you are a warrior because you can deal with it because we're only given what we can handle and everything we need is already inside of us so we're going to get through anything we need to get through because we got this. That's how you need to be. <laughs> um, messages from your person to you. <laughs> my cat holds my hand like this and she chewed the card. It still makes sense. Like, this is what me and my mommy do when I miss her and I'm mad she's gone so I'm eating this card or I want her to think of me every time she sees this paw she cannot hold any other kitty paws but mine <laughs> we rejoice when we find love love comes in unexpected ways maybe uh, maybe you have a cat speaking to you or this was a cat person because you also got another cat <laughs> Don't rush into making big decisions right now. Take your time. Like this person is always holding your hand, always supporting you. It's like you've got nine lives. You can get back up, knock down, get back up, get knocked down, get back up a million times. Believe in yourself. Believe in thyself, the spirit says. Very, very funny energy. Birds are messengers we use to connect with you. So you could be hearing and seeing a lot of birds. I've been seeing blue jays and cardinals all summer. What do you need to let go of right now? Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that and worth that come from just being you. This is owning who you are, being authentic, not trying to fit anyone's mold, not caring who likes you or who doesn't. Love thyself and everyone else, pardon my French, can F off. <laughs> oh, we have recovery. Yes, right now it's about rest, taking a vacation, hanging out with your peeps doing what you love doing you've come through it you've gone through a lot you need to sit self-care and learn to love yourself and be still we have physical body and bravo bravado so maybe they're you're gearing up to do like a weight loss thing they're cheering you on or you have been doing that and they're really really proud of you there's acknowledgement um, they did bring up obese. This could have been someone who had a massive body transformation in their life. And they're saying you can do it too if you're struggling. Or you are always someone who has taken care of themselves because you didn't want to wind up like them. And it's okay that, they're, that you think that. Like, don't think that's a diss. They're proud. They wish they could have been like you. Or you could have... You could be the one wishing you were like them. And they're saying, boo-boo, you can. Just every day you got to try. You just can't give up. So we have caring connections. So you are going to make new friends or meet new love interests. And this person is always going to be here to love you and support you. Um, woman holding a heart, coming home to your feminine side. Like self-care, learning to look in the mirror and be like, ooh, I'm sexy. Yeah. Of course everybody wants me. It's okay to have a little bit of an ego for two minutes in the mirror so that you walk out of the door for the day with a smile on your face. Ego is healthy when used correctly. You just can't sit in that ego all day like, yes, I'm awesome at every aspect of the day. <laughs> I look in my in the mirror every morning and I'm like, you are beautiful, you are smart, your body is perfect the way it is, you are abundant, you're going to have a great day. I don't give a shit if anyone thinks I'm nuts. Helps me feel good. <laughs> and if nobody wants me, then they're dumb. <laughs> I do it just like that and I giggle. I'm like, just kidding, they're not dumb, but I feel better, universe. I feel like the universe has a sense of humor. I feel like they like jokes because they know your intention. They like lighthearted childlike energy. So if you're silly and like, 
Alright, let's dance around the living room and be stupid together. They love that shit. Your energy is like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you're high vibe. You're smiling. They're like, yeah, get down. Get down, Lindsay. I'm, I'm spiritually dancing with you. Woo -woo. I feel like the spirit's like, this is how you let loose. Just be a crazy pants when you're alone in your house. No one's around to see it. Who cares? Talk to yourself. Dance. I sometimes grab my hairbrush just to be funny. No one's in there. I'm only laughing for myself. <laughs> just for a second. I like my own jokes better than half of these comedians. <laughs> you are the world to this person. The world is in the palm of your hands. You can create the life that you want. You just have to keep moving forward every day. Magician, you are manifesting. It is the 777 portal. Um, if you've been doing any moon manifestations, um, whatever you've been trying to work towards, they're going to help you. They're helping you to achieve it. Um, closing out your reading with some tarot, we have Six of Earth, Charity, Generosity, Windfall, Abundance of Money coming in, or you could be donating if you're doing well, or somebody's donating to you, donating to your cause, donating to a cause you set up in, like, honor of this person, or maybe for your education. King of air, knowledgeable, objective, respected. Always be the person that people respect and fear a little bit, but don't feel like they have to be rigid and can't be themselves around you. Like, be important enough that they respect you as the boss, but don't be so stiff upper lip that they feel a disconnect in the business world. And same with family. Like, you, it's, you have to be practical, but at the same time, make sure you're being practical to your family. It can't just be work, 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 work. It has to be work, family, work, family, work, day off, day off, day off with family for like three days. Work, family, work, family, work, family, days off together with your family and friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you have to balance it and mix it. Seven of air. Awareness, caution, consequences. There's consequences to burning yourself out. Like your mind goes nuts and you make stupid decisions with spending money or sleeping with people or whatever. Big, drastic, whatever. If your mind ain't right, you ain't going to do right, the Spirit says. Putting energy into people who are using you and because you don't want to leave your comfort zone is only going to make you more miserable, not happy. There's consequences in everything you do. Can you live with them? I don't think you can. The spirit is pushing you out of procrastination. It's go time. Get pumped. You got this. The spirit is saying, we are the champions. Da, da, da. <laughs> My friends. I need to go to bed. I don't even know. I'm raspy today, but I'm so excited. I got to see the stars. There's finally no more smoke. Like, I can see stars. And no more clouds. It's, like, clear outside. It's so nice. Tomorrow is the fireworks, so it can't rain. So, love you all. See you, um... I still don't know what I'm doing for a blog yet, or a vlog <laughs> on Monday. I still haven't. Maybe it just means I gotta skip a week. Or it'll come to me on Monday and I'll just wing it. I don't know. But tomorrow, or today, no, tomorrow, Sunday morning. What day is it? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> tomorrow I'm doing my life coaching session. Um, Monday will be my vlog. Tuesday is Twin Flame um, energy reading. So, I'll see ya for a few more days before I break for... Pfft, I don't even want to say it. I'm, I'm getting out of the 9 to 5s. Done with it. It's not where I belong. I don't know what that is yet, but it's going to be great and amazing. And I'm going to love every second of it. <laughs>
two little boo boos don't forget to like subscribe and share it really does help me grow i appreciate it to all of you who do help me i appreciate you for watching this i got a little silly for your pile but it's like three in the morning sorry pile three you got the looney toony version of me but i feel like yours is the most entertaining <laughs> love you guys see you next time toodaloo boo boos bye